Hey everybody, this is Christian Buckley doing another MVP Buzz Chat, and I'm talking today with Rashmi. Hello. Hi, I'm Rashmi Buckley, and I've been newly uh, awarded the MVP since uh, January 2024. Brand new. Well, pretty brand new. Well, I, I joked, I said two months in, you're an old timer now. So you're you're guiding in all of those noobs that are coming in now. Well, for folks that don't know you, um, where you've already said who you are, where are you, and what do you do? Um, yes, so I'm based uh, in London, working for a company called P Pension Protection Fund as uh, a SharePoint developer, and uh, uh, as part of my role, I just do everything even i'm a developer but i'm involved in shepherd administration governance uh building a solution the power platform as well as um uh, customization using uh, spfx it's so great seeing other people because i started as a sharepoint mvp it's still at kind of the center of what i write about talk about and i always love especially those of us that like migrated over to, you know, kind of teams MVP and part of it, like, I love teams, but uh, I, I just ran into somebody else who was like really big on teams and not non-technical person had no idea that it was all SharePoint under the hood. Like, yes, yes. one drive yes. too. It's, it's all there yes. and stream. Yes. So it's all there. But, yes. Uh, well, that's it's great. still, it's still the middle of all the emphasis for services, everything you touch emphasis as well, you have chef one in the background. So let me ask Something you, your friends and family, do they, do they understand what SharePoint is yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> they just know I do something on the computer. I just yeah. keep it simple. I talk to the computer. But... I think that could be a very viral TikTok series of asking people, um, you know, this is what that that know you people in your life like do you know what i do <laughs> and i get their answers yeah i know it'll be quite interesting <laughs> yeah it's it's funny being in, yeah i get uh, i get almost like to, to have them like in any other things like uh, if like we can't do something even with word or excel or something yeah because i'm an it person <laughs> Well, that yeah. that used to be kind of the the idea of the MVP program. In fact, they used to give out, um, I don't know, maybe they still do somewhere, but they gave out technical support, like a free one hour call. They would give us several of those, four or five of those. So if we're, if you're sitting on an airplane, strike up a conversation, somebody says, oh, you're wearing something like I do. All my casual clothes have MVP badge on them somewhere because um, yeah, they keep giving us hoodies and, and jackets and things. Um, but somebody will ask about that and then they'll go right into their, it's like, oh, I'm, I, I'm a SharePoint MVP. Oh, I'm having this problem with Excel. All right. Lay it on I me. Maybe I, maybe I know the answer, you know, um, I still, but you, you give I, out I, those I, cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. I still have it because even currently, because I kind of work like for the end customer directly and uh, part of my role, I still involve a lot in visual as usual activities and yeah i still get like even people within the business coming for to me like with word problems or excel problems or so like okay yeah well, I, and I, have I, to have them I do my best and I, yes. th then i'll go and google it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then sound yeah. really smart oh no this is exactly what you need to do yeah. well well tell me what was your path to becoming an MVP what did that like how did you hear about the program and then uh, uh how did you get into the program it's kind of new about the program ever since I moved to the UK I mean I uh I'm, I'm originally from a country called Mauritius mm. which is based in the Indian Ocean yeah. um and uh yeah so and uh, my first job uh, in the UK was with a consultancy firm and uh, called uh, Corporate Project Solution. And there, um, uh, yeah, so there was like an MVP working there. And yeah, so 
kind of knew about that program, but I was not really sure what the person was actually doing. But uh, except, yeah, except I knew like he he was writing a lot of blog posts. That's all I knew. Yeah. Um, and then um, and then and then yeah, I think it took quite a while because um, uh, that time was just like a dotnet. Uh, uh, developer and uh, and then uh, yeah, knowing nothing about SharePoint or um, M six or any of those um, fancy words, and uh, yeah, so so it took me quite a while like before I kind of actually. Uh, I think I think it's just like sometimes I think like okay, uh, I spent so long like uh, resolving coming to a solution to a problem, and uh, everything it's just like me and I'm not like sharing it or anything and then yeah so I kind of started uh writing a uh, blog post and sharing uh my knowledge uh to uh yeah uh to everyone and then um and then it kind of uh all these kind of posts um whenever I moved to uh, my current role and then uh, my life situation kind of changed I got married uh, and then got children and then uh, there was like a big gap of um, at least uh, six yeah. years yeah yeah six years before I kind of decided like okay uh, I need uh, to kind of resume and then it was more like because um, in my new role I was still doing a lot of on-premise uh, SharePoint um, uh, technologies where I didn't feel like I had anything new to share because everything was kind of uh, um, I was finding the solution already available online and then once we kind of moved to SharePoint online um, then I noticed like okay <laughs> There are we questions that are gone unanswered. Again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I could contribute back. And then I started uh, uh, again uh, contributing uh, to the uh, PNP, which is a pattern and practice uh, uh, open uh, source uh, project initiatives like the PNP PowerShell, CLI 4 m 65 uh, this formatting. It's like mainly repositories, but uh, help me to help my current task or current uh, uh, problems I was facing at the same time, like contribute back in other ways. So I learned something and I just tried to contribute back to the same repositories as a way of saying thank you. And uh, and then, um, yeah, and then, yeah, so uh, then uh, kind of uh, think like, okay, I need to have a, a blog post as well. So I contribute a few blog posts onto the PNP community blogs. Mm -hmm. uh, then I thought like, mm, I need uh, something to have more control on so and then I started my own blog post yeah so well, it, and that's that's an, just for folks that don't know too like if you like so Microsoft of course uh, uh manages the the PNP patterns of practices community they I, I know they renamed it I don't care I just refer to it as PNP yeah um everybody knows that um but if you are invited to and go and write something there, of course, it's going to get much higher visibility. What an important part of and this is difficult for a lot of people that were I, for for a couple of years after I left Microsoft for a couple of years, I was doing a ton of stuff, speaking at conferences around the world. My company, I was the chief evangelist. My company would send me all over the place. I, I did a lot of things and people would say, like, how are you not an MVP? It's like, well, it needs to be built up. But it's not just the volume, like the activities. You also need to have visibility, like somebody at Microsoft, other MVPs need to have that visibility. I think at the time, um, only uh, when I joined, only Microsoft people could submit your name. No, that's not true. MVPs could. They've turned that off and on where it's only Microsoft, mm -hmm. then Microsoft to MVPs for a short while. Like you could mm -hmm. self-nominate. They turned that off after a year. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it worked out the way that they were thinking in their heads, <laughs> but, but anyway, um, to get that level of, of, you know, of recognition by key people to be submitted for it. I mean, that, that's something that takes a bit of effort. So if you're, if you are active in a community, like the PNP community, if you're active in your user group um, and get into regional events that could get the attention of MVPs. We're always looking for people 
that could potentially come in and fill the ranks, could be an MVP that are giving back to the community that just aren't yet recognized. Um, and so that was a fantastic opportunity to write a couple of times for there. But I was going to, my next question was going to be like, what are your primary contribution types? Like you're blogging, are you doing other stuff? Are you speaking a lot? Hey, I'm not really done any speaking yet. And uh, I think my first like community kind of event was going to the MVP summit, uh, which was two weeks ago um, in Seattle. And that was like really amazing to meet uh, lots of people in person to actually put a, a name to a face. So I think my main contributions would be like, um, I would say um, to the PNP sample scripts, uh, the PNP PowerShells. It seems that I write quite a lot of those. Mm -hmm. And um, and I do uh, try like to uh, uh, to contribute to the uh, PNP PowerShell repository itself as a CLI 4965. Um, these are like my three main kind of areas, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then I do just do the ad hoc um, contribution in the other repositories as well. See, that is, I'm I'm telling you, so many people out there watching this are going to be glad that, hey, I can become an MVP and I don't have to go do a lot of public speaking. Like that's like one of, uh, it's funny that uh, people have a greater fear of public speaking than a lot of other things that they should be afraid of. Um, very risky behavior out there, but it, it's, uh, that's one of the biggest concerns. Like, I'm, look, I'm not speaking. It's like, you don't have to, there are other ways to contribute to the community. You just have to find that, find that niche. So mm -hmm. uh, have you had anybody come up yet and ask you like, what could I do to become an MVP? Like, what do you tell those people? Yeah, I had a few people who reached out to me uh, with, with similar questions. And then, yeah, so I would say, really, you just need to enjoy what you're doing. And really, um, uh, and then it can be like in various different forms, as you already mentioned, it could be like speaking events, organizing user groups, it could be like connecting contributing to open source uh, um, initiatives. Uh, uh, it could be uh, answering questions onto forums. It could be men mentorship. Uh, it can take like different uh, uh, forms. So you just need like, to find which way uh, it's you feel it's comfortable for you and uh, really you should be enjoying what you do. Well, that's the that's why we keep doing what we're doing because we're we're only mm -hmm. doing the things that we enjoy. Yes, that's yeah, the, that's the secret to life, you know. Uh, <laughs> find a way to only do the things you enjoy, or you, the, yeah. occasionally you've got to do things that you don't like. Get them done quick. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. Don't sometimes run away from you them. do. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes um, I mean, yeah, you can try to stretch yourself out of the comfortable zone as well. Like for example, me taking the initiative, talking to you. <laughs> I, I love the phrase. I, I love the, we can do hard things. Like we, we can, I mean, that's, that's what you think about that. That's how a muscle is built. You, you tear it down, you, you cause it stress and then it is able to build. And it's the same yeah. with any of these skills, go and do things. And there's so many stories of MVPs who, again, especially with public speaking, and they were deathly afraid yeah. of that, but they were able to go I and know. do that. They actually really enjoy it or they claim to enjoy it and <laughs> they just cover up their fears they're better at hiding their their weaknesses so yeah but it's but it's uh, I, again it, for a for the community i mean there's all different ways that people can get involved and what we just mm -hmm. need are more people that want to get involved are you doing any like local user group stuff or is most of your stuff online Okay. We'll see. There you go. I thought, let's say it's another way for people to get in is through user groups. You're not involved in that either. No, not yet, but I need to find ways to spread my wings a little bit more. And uh, yeah, even in terms of speaking, uh, uh, yeah, just been lucky like to be able to do a couple of community calls, which is great. 
and um and and then yeah i was invited onto the pnp weekly book course as well uh again how to embrace my fears and and uh and just like uh do it um yeah i think eventually we're all like human beings and uh we do have our own uh fears but uh how we manage it is that's what's important and uh and yeah and, and with the support uh of everyone within the community um i'm sure like yeah i'll be able like to push myself a little bit further <laughs> Yeah, it it is a very supportive community. I think people are, are afraid of that. It's it's look, there's a little bit of healthy competition that's that's out there, but generally, uh, you know, what you find like there, we're all admirers of each other of this stuff. Like there's certain shows, people that I just love to to watch and I go to, um, and I always say this too is that one of the benefits of participating actively in the community and knowing that what one MVPs are some of the most approachable people on the planet, like we're happy to answer questions and connect with you and those kinds of things. Um, two is that no single person can know everything, but if you know the people that know the other, the other stuff, portions of that, you know who to go yeah. to with your questions. Um, so uh, yeah, there's just, uh, you know, three, it's just, I, I've made so many friendships, relationships that are, you know, will stretch beyond just this community, yes. um, uh, but mm -hmm. came to this. So, um, great reasons to get involved well Rashmi, for folks that don't uh, that that want to get in touch with you reach out to you where are you most active in social where can people find you i would say twitter or linkedin it's like the two um social media platform oh, yes yeah well make sure i don't I'll have promise i'll both. come back straight away but um definitely uh at some point in one uh, within the day I'll make sure I check all my messages. I think that's another, uh, it, it, you know, it's funny. A few years back, people, I think, had very unrealistic, like I've been emailing you or I or I DM'd you on, it's like, why didn't you respond back to me? It's like, I just haven't gotten to it yet. I'm busy with other stuff. And yeah, uh, one, one positive thing that came out of the pandemic is people have relaxed a bit. They realize that, hey, this is a, uh, uh, you know, we are uh, an asynchronous communication type here. Um, so people are a bit more relaxed on responding, but well, Reshmi, really appreciate you taking the time. It's great to meet you. Um, can't remember, like, I'm sure we sat in the, some of the same sessions during summit. No, we met up beside Hassel. Did we? Oh, that's right. I did not oh, that's say. right. Did not say good. In yeah. building, what building is that? Is that 25? 25 yeah no that was in Kirkland oh the side hustle in Kirk that's right side Over, hustle. At, at, yeah. the, that's right at the event uh, I was thinking of the uh what was the what's the name of oh the uh, sorry that was the um where where we were doing all the social stuff on campus was the reactor uh, building, which is building 25 yes. you're talking about Donna yeah. so we went to Donna Sakar had a had an event over at her uh, her what is it is it a restaurant it's a pub I guess and we I had an event there pub. that's right yeah, it's very, yeah. so we hung out there that's right yes well, yes it's great to yes. see you again I know that it was a uh, it was that was that was a fun event I would have liked to have stayed longer of course there was an event after the event yeah it's like like any massive event with uh with tons of famous people uh you know but yes. mvps around yeah. there was a lot to do the yeah. social calendar was pretty yeah. uh was, was pretty packed yeah yeah <laughs> well thanks so much for your time it's great talking to you thank you very much for having me <laughs>